हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिराइव सेविंग कर्व फ्रॉम कंजम्पन कर्व इन ऑर्डर टू डिराइव सेविंग कर्व फ्रॉम कंजम्पन कर्व वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉ टू सेट्स ऑफ डायग्राम्स लेट्स कॉल इट एज सेट वन एंड सेट टू नाउ इन बोथ द डायग्राम्स ऑन एक्स एक्सेस वी आर गोइंग टू रिप्रेजेंट इनकम In diagram one, we will depict consumption curve and income curve. So let's start drawing the consumption curve. Consumption curve is an upward sloping straight line which is represented by the equation C is equal to C bar plus B y, where C bar is the intercept of the consumption curve, which represents autonomous consumption at zero level of income b is slope of consumption curve which is mp c now after drawing the consumption curve we will draw a 45 degree line representing the income the point where consumption and income intersect or they are equal is known as the break even point let's depict this point by e now after drawing the consumption and income curve we can start deriving the saving curve but before that we need to keep one thing in mind that income is either consumed or saved alternatively we can write saving is equal to income minus consumption now keeping this relationship in mind we are going to derive saving curve from the consumption curve let's start by taking our first reference point when income is equal to zero when income is equal to zero consumption is equal to autonomous consumption depicted by c bar in our diagram when consumption is c bar and income is equal to zero then saving is equal to minus c bar which represents level of this saving at zero level of income now after drawing or marking minus c bar in the diagram 2 let's start by taking the second reference point as i told you earlier that e is the break even point where consumption and income are equal so when consumption and income are equal savings are zero thus corresponding to this point we get point a on the saving curve by drawing a perpendicular from point e to x axis of the diagram where we are going to draw the saving curve now by joining c bar with a and extending this straight line to the positive quadrant we get a saving curve which is depicted by the equation s is equal to minus c bar plus 1 minus b y where 1 minus b represents the slope of saving curve which is actually mps and minus c bar is the intercept which represents this savings at zero level of income it can be seen that before point e when consumption exceeds income savings are negative and after point e when income exceeds consumption savings are positive thus this is the way to derive saving curve from the consumption curve thank you and have a good day